Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for all your previous views, likes, subscriptions, comments, and all of that jazz. I really, really appreciate it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking a little bit about fragments. Um, now, you might have noticed uh, that occasionally you receive uh, fragments. This is usually, um, and when I say usually, I mean always, <laughs> from the hourly challenge. So if we just go and have a quick look in here, you'll see that I think it's only the third chest. Is it? No? Second chest? There we go. Second chest will always give you a fragment. Um, that is the only place you can get them, as far as I'm aware. I think occasionally there might be in the Clash of Province chest, there might be a fragment as a reward. I seem to think that as a particular day. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I kind of had a, a feeling, a vague remembrance that that might have been a thing. But otherwise, you're going to get them in the second chest of the hourly challenge, um, which makes the second chest kind of important. Fragments are useful, especially once you've reached a certain level. Um, and I don't... <laughs> Not really once you've reached a certain... Okay. After about, I'd say, Castle 19, you're hopefully have going to have done a lot of your zone commemoration research, and you should have access to uh, at least the first nine the first nine chests in um, uh, the Clash of Provinces. Once you've done that, you're going to start to generate Courage Medals. So one way we got Courage Medals, and you should be getting Courage Medals in the early game, is by using the Token Shop to swap your Hero Tokens, which you get... From the third chest of the hourly challenge, you should be swapping those for courage medals here as much as you possibly can. However, once you've got to about uh, that level, you've done the zone commemoration research, you're starting to get courage medals building up, um, you can stop swapping and you can start to buy fragments. Now, why do we buy fragments? Because it's a, it's a relatively, I'm going to say easy, it's not easy. Um, it, it's a, it's a non-random <laughs> way of getting orange heroes. Uh, obviously, you know, every uh, Thursday we try and open our orange tickets, and it's Thursday today, and I did, uh, I think, at least nine uh, orange tickets, and I got zero. Zilch, nada, new orange heroes. It has now been three months. Yeah, it was like start of March. No, not start of March. Start of February when I received, yeah, easily start of February when I got my last orange hero. Um, so, you know, relying on the tickets to give you heroes is, is, is kind of silly. So once you've kind of got the zone com research done, once you've started to generate uh, a lot more courage medals, you're going to start to swap them as often as you possibly can. Now, when you go into here, you can also, you can see here, we can refresh this screen. So I've already done that today, and you can see I bought a five fragments of Sir Rogelin for uh, 40... Uh, Tokens. Uh, I'm going to refresh it once more because I have uh, some refreshment left there and see if there's anybody else I want. Now, El Zorro I have as a hero, so I don't necessarily need those. I would need those if I was thinking about doing some upgrading with him, but I'm not. Uh, and then these Season 1 and Season 2 I'm not particularly keen on at the moment. If we go into the heroes, we can see who I'm aiming for right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, fragments here. So basically, I've made a decision in that I wanted uh, some of the development heroes. So Plague Doctor here um, is an orange hero, base level, uh, who will help with the hospitals. Uh, and Sir Rogelin here is an orange base level who will help with training, camp, uh, the cavalry uh, training area, the stables. Um, and that will improve all of those things. So I decided I wanted to go for those two. And then I've also decided that in Season 3, where is it? Oh, there. Um, a living saint. I believe I did a video on this a while back when the season three hero started for me. Um, I believe living saint is the best season three hero. Uh, and so I've started to slowly collect uh, the fragments for her as well. Now, that's just obviously going to take a long time. I've been changing for, fab for fragments now for about, I'm going to say two weeks. Yeah, probably about two weeks. And basically, I have to go through here every day uh, and I do the uh, refreshing five times a day to see if it gets one of those three heroes that I'm looking for and then I make sure to buy them or swap them for the tokens that does mean I have to try and hit the third daily the third chest in the hourly challenge a couple of times a day minimum today is the hardest day I think to hit it um, because basically you're going to try and do all of your hero development in like a big whack, aren't you? You're going to put on a 100% a uh, Clash of Provinces increase ticket and you're going to try and use all of your tickets, etc. and get everything done. But the whole day 
on Thursdays is based on hero development. That you know, nearly every single hourly challenge is this hero development stuff. So you don't get a chance to keep on using your tickets. You obviously could try and plan it and spread it out all day, but I never really have the patience for that. Um, but tomorrow, say, is uh, Friday, and tomorrow that is training day. I can easily hit probably, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably go for three, a minimum of three uh, daily challenges fully complete. So get to the third chest on those, and that should give me another 60 hero tokens, and then I should be able to pop in here and get at least five fragments of one of the heroes I'm looking for. So just to kind of recap, once you've gotten to a certain point with your um, zone commemoration research, um, start to get the fragments as off as possible as often as you possibly can uh because it is it's a far more direct way than waiting for the randomness of the uh random number generator to give you an orange hero uh when you use a ticket um other than that that's all i really wanted to say about fragments i've had a couple of little questions coming in so i thought i'd just address that quickly as i haven't spoken about it much before um thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you again soon cheers bye